So the first question of our exercise 7.4. If NC8 is equal to NC2, find NC2. The given question is NC8 is given equal to NC2. We have to find NC2. We have a relation or we have a property of combination. If NCA equal to NCB, if NCA equal to NCB, either A is equal to B. Okay, either these two values are equal or sum of A and B must be equal to N. So, if NCA is given equal to NCB, either A will be equal to B or A plus B will be equal to N. So, here NC8 is given as NC2 and it is clear that 8 is not equal to 2. That means this condition does not hold. So, the second one must hold, isn't it? A plus B equal to N. So, A plus B means 8 plus 2 must be equal to N. N here is 10. So, the value of n we are getting as 10. And the question is to find nc2. That is, we have to find 10c2. 10c2 by formula, how we have to write? We have to start with the 10, go in descending order and we have to write 2 integers. So, 10 into 9 will be in the numerator by the, write the factorial of the value of r. r is 2, so its factorial is 1 into 2. So, 2 and 10 get cancelled giving you 5. 5 into 9 gives you 45. Okay. Moving to the second question. The second question is determine n if 2 and c3 is to n c2 is equal to 12 is to 1. And there is a second part for the question. 2 and c3 is to n c3 is equal to 11 is to 1. So we will take the first part. 2 and c3 is to n c2 is given as 12 is to 1. So instead of writing like this, I can write 2 and c3 by n c2 is equal to 12 divided by 1. So not applying the formula for combination, what we can write? How we wrote this, here how we wrote 10C2, start with the 10, we wrote the two numbers, isn't it? By two factorial, same way 2 and C3, start with the 2 and we have to write the three numbers in descending order. So 2 and the next number when writing in descending order is 2 and minus 1 into next number will be 2 and minus 2. We have to write the three numbers, isn't it? Since the value of R is 3, so 1, 2, 3. We wrote three numbers divided by three factorial, that is 1 into 2 into 3. Whole divided by denominators n c two. There we have to write two values n into n minus one by one into two is given as equal to twelve. Okay, so two get cancelled. The denominators can both the denominators contain two will get cancelled. Again from here two in two n minus two from there if I am taking two as common. 2 into n minus 1 will be the term, isn't it? So this n minus 1 and n minus 1 get cancelled. Here n and n get cancelled. So what is the balance? 2 into 2. 4 into 2n minus 1 is equal to 12. Okay. So 2n minus 1 will be equal to 12 by 4 which gives you 3. Here a 3 was there. So 12 into 3 must be there. So 2n minus 1 will be equal to 12 by 4 is 3. 3 into 3 which gives you the value 9. So 2n will be equal to 10 and n will be equal to 5. Okay. Moving to the second part. Here also the ratio is given as 2 and c3 is to n c3 is equal to 11 is to 1. So we can write 2 and c3 divided by n c3 is equal to 11 by 1. 11 by 1 is 11. So start with the 2 and we have to write the 3 terms. 2 n into 2 n minus 1 into 2 n minus 2 in the descending order by 1 into 2 into 3 whole divided by n c3 is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2. We have to write 3 terms in descending order divided by 1 into 2 into 3 is given as equal to 11. 11 by 1 is 11 itself. So 1 into 2 into 3 get cancelled with this denominator. n get cancelled. Same way 2 n minus 2. From here if I am taking 2 I can write the term as 2 into n minus 1, isn't it? So this n minus 1 and n minus 1 will get cancelled. What is the balance in the numerator? 2 into 2n minus 1 into 2 is there. Divided by in the denominator there is an n minus 2 is equal to 11. So cross multiplying the term left side will be 2 into 2, 4 into 2n minus 1 will be equal to 11 into n minus 2. Just open the bracket. 8 n minus 4 is equal to 11 n minus 22. Collect n terms to one side. So 8 n minus 11 n is equal to minus 22 plus 4. 8 minus 11 n gives you minus 3 n. Minus 3 n is equal to minus 
18. So that n is equal to minus 18 divided by minus 3 which gives you the value 6.